Sophie here and today I'm going to tell you all about my morning skincare regime. So today I'm just going to quickly share with you what my morning skincare routine is because a lot of you have asked and it's so simple. So I'm just going to as quickly as I can go through it. And when I say quickly, it's got to be really quick for me because I'm always in a major hurry in the morning. I have about a, a minute to get everything on and out of the shower and ready to go. So it's got to be really easy. Now, if you follow my channel and if you know me, you'll know that I'm into all natural, you know, as clean, non-toxic products as as is possible and so that's what I use but I also use products that really do something so I'm into as many anti-aging products as I can possibly find and and that's what I make it my business to do to do all that research for you to find ingredients that actually work so you're not wasting your money so this is what I've got the first thing I do when I get up in the morning is I do a very quick cleanse not a major cleanse because I'm not taking makeup off so um, I'll do I, I like a gel, gel cleanser and also if you have oily skin um, you might wake up in the morning and need to remove that oil this works really this works well for all skin types so it's a gel cleanser these these products that I'm showing you now are examples of what I like to use. I don't always use these because I test so many different products and to give you the product reviews, but these are really good examples. So this one is by Go Pure. It's their vitamin C cleanser. And um, I really like it because it's very light, it's unperfumed, and it has that vitamin C, which is a fruit acid, so it's also going to help brighten my skin as well. So I like that. So that's the first thing. Then I get out of the shower. Oh, a little word about the shower. This is a beauty tip. Shower water, if it's chlorinated, is very drying for your hair, for your skin. It's horrible for hair color. It will fade it so quickly. And so I recommend if you don't have a whole house filter to take all the chlorine out of your home, which I'm lucky enough to have, but if you don't have, get yourself a filter, a little filter for your shower head. They're inexpensive, just one that filters out chlorine. And that is probably almost the most uh, important beauty tip I can give you today. Um, so that's that. So I get out of the shower and then the next thing I do is I put on my most active uh, ingredients. So you always want to do that. The first thing after cleansing is get the most active ingredient on your face first. So a lot of people say I use eye creams and serums and this and that, the other which goes on first, the most active, meaning the one that's actually going to do something to your skin. So in the morning, it's always going to be vitamin C. Now, if you follow my channel, you'll know that I'm very into vitamin C. I've done a number of DIY videos on how to make your own vitamin C serum. Check them out if you haven't already, because this is a way that you can really save a lot of money. Um, but um, very important, helps build uh, collagen, it mitigates past sun damage, it protects against future sun damage. And goodness knows, I need so much help because I got so much sun damage. All of the, my 20s and my 30s, I sunbathed almost every time there was a glimmer of sun, baby oil on my face right up to the sun. Literally, that's what I did. And sunbeds as well, can you imagine? Um, so this is one that I really like. It is by Pure Suticles and uh, not to be confused with skin suticles. This one is pure suticles. Um, and I also talk a lot in my videos about the stability of vitamin C, also known as l ascorbic acid, because it's very unstable, uh, instable agreement. Uh, uh, ah, ingredient. It's not a stable ingredient, there you go. Meaning that it loses its efficacy when it oxidizes, and it oxidizes very, very quickly. So you need to find a formulation where it's very stable. Now, how do you know that? Well, you have to ask questions of the company. Not so easy maybe for you to do, so I do that uh, legwork for you, and I ask a lot of questions, and I always get to know the formulators really well. Marlene, who formulated this one, she suspended her l acid in um, a, a formula with ferulic, acid and a lot of different antioxidants that are very, very good at keeping it stable and keeping the concentration of the C really high, as high as it is when she puts it in there. So a very potent and great serum. So that goes on first. It absorbs almost immediately. So very quickly, I'm going to moisturize. Now, I have dry, mature skin, so I'm going to look for quite a thick emollient moisturizer. Uh, there's two that I really like. One is by Audacity. This is a brand that is so beautiful. It's high end. It's very pricey. But the formulator, um, Valerie, is a breast cancer survivor. And she decided that she wanted to make products with the best quality ingredients on earth. And quality 
is kind of very important, obviously, with ingredients. And um, she goes by this whole freshency thing, meaning that the ingredients are as good as they're fresh, and in this case, they're super duper fresh actives. Um, and yet, they have a long shelf life because she uses this very um, proprietary blend for this great essential oil a preservative system. Anyway, this one is called the Beautiful Day Moisturizer with MSM and DMAE. A little too much to go into right now, but as good as to know that they're very uh, good anti-aging ingredients. It's very light, this cream. It smells, it has this beautiful, very, very delicate um, scent and uh, it absorbs almost immediately. Now, if you have, I want to give you two more alternatives. Um, if you have a very, very dry skin, inflamed skin, sensitive skin, rosacea, um, you, you're going through chemotherapy and you've got, you know, re really uh, inflamed skin, uh, you would look at, to, or I would recommend you look to a brand called MV Organics. It's in this very simple white and silver packaging. And all of, I absolutely love all of her products. They're soothing, they're protective, they're thick, they're these formulations that she's created especially for women with these kind of skin conditions. This is called the Rose Soothing Protective Moisturizer. And actually it works for all skincare types, but I absolutely love it. It's very thick and velvety, but it doesn't sit on your skin and a great greasy glob. It will absorb perfectly, ready for the next stage of your little regimen. So we're almost there. And as I said, I do this, brr, I do it so quickly. Um, the next thing that goes on is my uh, how I'm going to protect my skin for the day. So I could use a sunscreen. Uh, don't always like to unless I'm on vacation. I like to use a BB or a CC cream. Oh, I forgot to tell you one really important thing before we get to the BB CC cream. If you have oily, blemished skin, this um, moisturizer by My Shell is amazing. So my daughter uses it. She's 14, 14 and a half and she has oily skin. And um, it is called their Serious Hyaluronic Moisturizing Gel. So it's a gel, not an oil. It's got no oil or the usual sort of creaminess in it. So it's so great, but uh, it's for very oily skin. But it has the hyaluronic acid, which will keep the moisture in your skin. Um, because even if you have oily skin, you don't want to use products that's going to really dry it out and blemishes. Sometimes those treatments, you know, really dry out your skin. So you want to make sure all of your face is beautifully moisturized. Okay, I thought this was going to be a really short video and it's getting too long. Um, I hope you're still with me, guys. So protection, BB cream, CC cream. I like this one. I wanted to try and give you some more affordable alternatives as well. This is by Andalou Naturals and it's their CC Color Correct Cream for Sensitive Skin. And the SPF is 30. And the reason why I love this is that it's very light. It gives a tiny bit of color, a tiny bit of coverage, and all of that sun protection. But it doesn't feel like you're just sort of glomming on a whole other layer of goop. Not at all. It's very, very light. So I can put it all over my face, my neck, my chest. I know I'm really well protected. It doesn't get on my clothes. doesn't sort of stain anything. And I just love it. And I think you can buy it at Whole Foods. Um, almost, almost there. Finally, last but not least. So not that then I'm done pretty much for the day, unless I'm going out to something fancy or I'm going to work on the set and getting makeup put on, in which case I prime and I just wanted to show you this really, I'm obsessed with this new product. Brand new, out of the gate, it is by Gwyneth Paltrow. Uh, she uh, made it for, or she's a work partnering with Juice Beauty, a company that I love. And um, I actually met Gwyneth the other day. Oh! I dropped something, but I did. And she uh, told us, a small group of us, all about her line and why she created and why she was so excited. But, because she's on set all the time and having all this stuff used on her. So when she went to Juice Beauty, she bought her kind of hero products and said, these, this is the primer that I live and die by, and this is the foundation. And can we make it, but can we make it natural and green? And so they said, yes, we can. They went back and forth a gazillion million times until they came up with the perfect formula. And she is a total perfectionist, Gwyneth. And so thank you, Gwyneth. You really did a great job here. And this is the primer. It's illuminizing. So it has this very, very, gives a lovely dewy finish. And what's revolutionary is almost all primers have silicones in them to give you that kind of slippy feel. This 
doesn't. So isn't that great? So that, by the way, is my kind of general morning routine. I'll come back and do an evening routine. Hopefully I can get these shorter because I'm told that people like shorter videos. So I'm trying to keep them shorter. And um, links for all these products underneath the video. And again, any requests, any questions, any ideas for other videos, I will respond, I promise. And do subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. I'll see you next time.